human nervous system endogenously generates a variety of movement patterns, without being constantly activated by a specific sensory input. In the human fetus, there are specific patterns of movements, such as shocks, isolated limb movements, twitching, stretching, yawning and breathing movements that emerge approximately at 9-12 weeks of corrected gestational age. These endogenously produced movement patterns continue after birth, regardless of when the delivery occurs. From the prenatal stage, a child has a repertoire of spontaneous movements that can be englobed as movement patterns. These movement patterns are known as general movements and were described by Brechtel in the middle of the last century. General movements consist of a series of gross movements of variable velocity and amplitude that involve all body parts, but lack a distinct sequence in the body segments involved. They are complex, occur frequently and sufficiently maintained to be correctly observed. They involve the whole body in a variable sequence of movement of the arms, legs, neck and trunk, undergo changes in intensity, force, speed, they also have a gradual beginning and end. Rotations along the axis of the limbs and slight changes in the direction of the movements make them fluid and graceful creating the impression of complexity and variability. The alteration in the normal quality of general movements is a reliable indicator of cerebral dysfunction. This is true for preterm and term infants as well as in the first 20 weeks post-term. Rectal developed a method for evaluating the quality of general movements based on watching videos as a diagnostic tool for early detection of cerebral dysfunction. The goal of the basic course is to provide an introduction to the method of qualitative assessment of general movements developed by Perectal. This new evaluation method has shown its merit in the prenatal and postnatal evaluation of the integrity of the nervous system. Accumulating evidence at this time has demonstrated the reliability of the assessment of general movements at an early age as the best predictor of the future presence of cerebral palsy. The assessment method suggested by Brechtel is a powerful supplement alongside the traditional neurological examination. Attendees will receive sufficient information about the main themes that constitute the ontogeny of spontaneous motor activity through lectures, demonstrations and workshops. Normal and abnormal general movements from birth to 20 weeks post-term will be analyzed. Attendees will receive practical advice for recording videos, their evaluation and interpretation as well as establishing monitoring and predictive values aimed at detecting further neurological changes. All course participants will receive a certificate of attendance, however the reliability certificate will only be given to those trainees who have 100% attendance and conduct a successful final exam.